So let's fix our icon maker. So basically the idea is whenever you are requesting and whenever you are requesting an icon, you should be Well, actually, let's fix this first. We don't need it anymore. Let's just delete that. Okay, so the idea is you should be basically scheduling the tasks and the icons. Okay, and if it's not, if it's empty, the, the list is now empty, then you should be uh, clearing or destroying the icon maker object. Okay, so we have our icon maker asset. We're going to save a few things and actually yeah we need one thing over here which will be a non-serialized method for the game object for the icon maker object okay and actually we can just make the icon maker actual which means if icon maker object is null only then go and create it okay and we're going to assign that here and this here so we're going to be saying create me an icon this also needs to happen above here icon maker actual icon maker object close that I can make an object okay something like this so i think it will just make more sense if we just go inside the icon maker which is a uh, more behavior we do have a, a coroutine in both cases where we just do it via a list and updates them via a list okay now Yeah, well, the trick is now we should probably just assign a list over here of our own without doing this. So we should probably just always use a list, which means list i icon scheduled icon. Uh, now, one more thing: you actually need to. We actually need to to store the callbacks as well per item okay so that will be that will become a list a uh, problem if we are going to call that from a list so maybe we can uh, remove this so okay so let's say schedule icons equals new list then before you start the core routine schedule icons dot add target object and we're also going to save a list of our callbacks. Callbacks. Okay, which means per icon there should also be a callback. That's why it's going to become a list uh, problem with the list but since this works fine uh, I think we are good with that we don't really have to do we don't really have to mess with this since it works you're just going to get one callback at the end otherwise whenever you are requesting an icon you're going to basically yeah just using this so it doesn't matter that much and okay I think this works just fine without having to clear the references of course okay so to do to create icon let's make an enumerator over here enumerator start icons schedules schedule or whatever okay notice that i will not put anything in the signature uh, apart from the asset i think do we use the asset? Yeah, okay, we do use the asset. So we're going to use the icon maker asset for that. Okay, then let's see. You're going to yield a return. Okay, so 
while schedule icons dot count is greater than zero yield return basically all of this for schedule icons this should be zero and let's see create icon routine clear reference will be false and the callback will be callbacks zero okay so yield return clear okay then scheduled icons so we should remove at zero and also the callbacks we already have the callbacks so we can just get rid of them okay so there we have a uh, icon schedule then uh, then we just need to clear the reference which is this so we just go or after the while just say destroy me this game object okay now we need to know if this schedule has already started so we need to say bool has schedule or has started I guess okay and if has started is false has started will be true then start coroutine start icon schedule asset okay it's only going to be well it's always going to be one asset so we don't really don't even need I uh, don't even think we need to add that to pass that to there but whatever so okay we are getting yeah this and once this is done I think it's not needed because we are destroying the game object really but let's just say for complete sake that we're going to say uh, to have it disabled so I think we are only going to be using this from now on the scheduler let's see what we have over here request icon for list icon maker don't think we're using this in this case yeah we don't so let's see how this will perform but i kind of want to see that the item will work so i'm going to replace the consumables models with whatever uh, with anything really let's say well i guess anything that isn't the great sword Let's use the rapier. Okay, so now we do not get any icons for any for anything. So let's start. Let's start the debug process. We have an icon maker. And actually, I think I'm just going to assign a breakpoint over here attach it I don't know if we are forgetting something create icon routine I don't know we'll see So schedule icons, we add it inside. Okay, if you have not started, then you start, and then you uh, start the icons schedule, which will bring you down here. Click continue, and we are inside here. Then we create the icon routine. Okay, you have your icon start with the bestest okay doesn't matter 
Uh, oops. Target object now is the great sword. Okay, let's click continue. Now you again have the great sword, I guess. Okay, and we're done here. D then, uh, uh, yeah, okay, I see what we did wrong. We forgot to do one thing, and that is actually called the callback to invoke the callback. So, callbacks zero dot invoke before we remove it okay otherwise it's not doing anything it just not doesn't update the icons okay and you see that you see how the schedule pretty much work we still don't not have anything on the consumable though so but i think it's just how we have the rapier set up so if I'm going to assign this as great sword or just get the same great sword I guess uh, okay so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to call this bestus okay then I'm going to open the prefab and I'm going to assign or basically I'm going to delete these two the stuff but first Let's drop the bestus object in here. Okay, you can see how tiny it is compared to this. Actually, let's make this a packet. Let's make it something like that. We can probably rotate it around move it like this something like that okay maybe we can make this even bigger on most cases whatever and just delete that delete that and we're left with only this and we can probably move this aside and just keep this okay save that and then on the bestus just change this to bestus the big one so now we should at least get something over there and true enough that does work and you can see how the schedule actually works so no matter how many we add it's just going to add them uh, as it goes it's only going to be building them when it needs them okay so that's it as well for this part we did we didn't do a lot of things but we did something important and that is have proper schedule on when we are creating the items or the icons from our icon maker so as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff more videos more series more of everything then consider supporting my patreon so we can keep making all of these nice things we're making i'll see you next time